Hello and welcome back to another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? If you want to know what the hell I'm doing now, I'm looking at TNXP. Why am I looking at TNXP? I will explain it to you. So, um, it was top percent gainer. It's swiggling oh, around above pre-market. Um, and I was also looking at AMRX, which I paper traded. And when it got down here, I was like, it's not working according to my plan, which I developed based on Oracle. Um, but it was bullish as was TNXP. So there you go. Now this ramped above pre-market and I was like cool I'll try it my risk will be pre-market high the blue line and it shot up to like 175 ish uh, yeah what was the high 172 didn't take profits um, maybe I looked away for a second and then it pulled back and I was like oh, I'll wait for it to ramp up again because it's a low flow it had volume um, and I was like cool it's still in this little stair stepper mode it could shoot up again maybe it'll be a cup and handle right now something very important for me this is kinda like my newest epiphany is that when you're wrong get out as fast as you can right this is stuff that I know that I'm putting together in my own head like reminders like when you're wrong get out because like, don't sit there in my mind. I can't sit there and justify it. Like, no, it'll go back, whatever. Like, this was my idea, and it was wrong. I got out. The second portion of importance is taking profits when you see them and not being greedy. Because, um, like, I could be waiting and lose all those potential profits, and then I'm not moving anywhere, you know? So two important things for me is like and this was positive 140 in this area so taking profits anywhere from like 20 cents and above taking profits and cutting losses quickly that is the best long-term recipe that I see for myself so in these paper trading experiences I think what I have to do like a lot of people hate on paper trading, but I think the benefit of paper trading is just like airplane simulation. What would you do in XYZ situation? Would you take profits or would you wait? You get what I'm saying? Because you can experience it real time without getting hurt. But like in this one, even though I lost, I'm proud of myself because I cut an idea quickly. I got in at 466. I got out uh, like few like oh I hate math. <laughs> 66, 14 cents later. So at a thousand, that would have been 140 dollars. Um, here I got in at 53 could have got out at 70 right or or 63 could have made a hundred dollars um, so but now we're gonna look at the daily chart of why these ideas are why these were not ideal for me yes Aflac <laughs> every time I move he's sleeping on me every time I move he like grunts hold on I looked at the dailies on this and I was like, you know what? I'm not really feeling my leg is falling asleep, Affy. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Let me do one of these. Put my legs up so you can. Uh, you know what, Bunny? Why don't I sit like this and then you can rest your head again? Who's a baby dog? so cute. We woke up, went out, just around the block. He did his business, he had breakfast, and now he's back to napping. Alright. So, 
the daily on this looks like crap to me. It looks like a bad sushi chart. So I'm not expecting any bounce here. Even with all this volume, I mean, it took 30 million volume to make the littlest, like, bleep. And all these people could potentially be in here. So I was like, I really don't like this chart. That was my first thing. Um, I have to wait for, like, I feel like I haven't seen a daily chart that I've liked in a long time. Um, ah. hold on. Also didn't have news. My computer's slowing down. Um, okay, we're on the two day. Let's go to the one minute. So, so I think, I think this could have been a potential like short squeeze of all the people that were like the daily chart sucks. I'm risking off of pre-market high probably. Oh no, it's spiking. Let me get the hell out. And then maybe re-slammed it, you know, like to get in here, risking off of here and short the thing. That's, that's the sh seller's mind to me or a shorter's mind. Um, and this, I just have to cancel out of this is just old from forgotten from the other day. <sighs> um, so I was looking was looking at Oracle and I think this was green at some point but not really um, just looking through oh everything's red there was another one LMPX I, it was it was listed to go to 1849 on Oracle um, I'm tired I don't see it anymore, but like from yesterday, Tim bought it over here. I was like, oh, what a cool buy. And like it was at 18, but it failed in the morning. I guess maybe it came out at 18, but then failed. But really cool. No longer interested in this one. Epsil went from 68 cents to 70 cents, I saw. PTI is like, eh. No, I'm not interested. I'm going to look at F-cell. Well, too many notifications. Nice ramp, but I don't know how to play these low-priced ones yet. Although I am interested in what the daily looks like on F-cell. But it's a high float, but I've no, it's just downward trending. It just doesn't matter to me, but it's like it's trending upwards intraday, but I just, I don't know. I can't. Um, and so this one. Ah, hey, hey, hey. What is this? Um, okay, so I guess it's interesting. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that makes that like divider line. And that was exactly the point that it double bottomed off of and bounced. That was 430. Is 430. Trying to find where 430 links up.
I guess 430 was just an intraday level because all those other levels were, uh, whatchamacallits, um, oh, is this it? Oh yeah, I made this line 439 because I saw that this red dot was above these levels on the daily chart and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. It's past a gap fill. This is like the, whoop, so maybe it'll go to here, I'm not sure. I'm trying to, try to analyze why I missed something. Um, I don't like the default, there's always two minutes. I want it to just jump onto one minute. That's the only thing I see is this. I'm actually going to make the line right there. Boink. <laughs> That's how I imagine it. Um, I'm tired, I'm tired. Is this a cup and handle? Maybe. Who knows? Let me go up to the top. <laughs> um, it's really close to the buy signal of 276. Okay, while that's cooking. Um, yeah, I didn't show the daily of TNXP. Maybe I did, I can't remember. Of oh, just like the crash and this. So that's whatever. I'm not even really like, I'm not even really judging myself based on like profits nowadays, like for this paper trading on my day off type of thing. I'm trying to practice execution ability. Like, am I able to make a profitable trade or am I getting stuck in a loser and not cutting losses? So that's what I'm practicing in my trading simulator. So. This one. This one's interesting to me. I'm not sure. I guess I will wait for the buy signal. It makes sense that the buy signal would be like right around this area because it's the top of the cup. So if it breaks out, Just gonna go ahead with it. Yeah, it just broke out. Interesting how quickly it jumps. There's such a big flow. Testing pre-market high. Now it's finally got a bullish signal to it. I need a tissue. Can someone hand me a tissue? <laughs> Obviously didn't get executed. How the hell is this moving so much for a stock with a huge flow and like not enough volume? You know what that makes me think of? That makes me think that maybe like 
maybe sometimes people in a bigger float are like sitting and holding. Is that why, um, is that why like the tiniest volume can make such a push? Like how do you get a do 75 cent push with this high of a float and this low a volume. I imagine that it's like people are sitting and holding this stuff, but that doesn't make sense based on the, um, on the, whatchamacallit, daily chart, which was pretty sure was just downtrending. Let's take a quick look. Well, not exactly. Um, I guess this one's curling up. So, yeah, this is the one with the gap. If anybody knows how to change that default setting to one minute, I would love to know that. Texting someone, hold on. Yeah, so the question of the day for me is how can a bigger stock with a bigger flow move like that? Like this went from 30 to 90 that's 70 60 cent move in in 30 minutes even though it has a bigger float and less volume that riddle me that riddle me that um it might not be able to hold it but how is that possible what is going on meanwhile Meanwhile, the low float with 20, the float that's like 1 million volume. I love you, doggy. With 22 million volume can just crash 50 cents. What's happening here? What is going on? <laughs> Someone tell me. I'm going to cancel this order. According to Oracle, this is in the buy zone. It's bullish and it's going to have a 41 cent, 49 cent move. It came back right down to where it started in the 72s. So 72 is my risk level because I want to just cut things quick. How am I down $90 when it's above my original entry point? Oh, because of this. That's why. Because this was a loss. So the loss continues. Got it. Understood. Oh, the Yeezy Boost 380 Aliens are available now. Not sure what I think of those. Um. Check stock X for stock X. Stock X. 
Right now I'm just sitting and watching price action to see my dog's nose. What am I looking for? Um, alien. Yeezy Alien. 380 is the lowest price. Well, how much are they selling for? Well, that makes sense. This is 380, 380. 230? Are you fucking kidding me? Lowest asking price. What the fuck? Oh, these are kind of a hot item. Oh, shit. Oh, that's weird. All right, I'm going to try to buy these aliens <laughs> because these are a hot commodity. Oh, my God. Don't refresh the page. Yeah, like, the prices on this are crazy. F, what are you eating? Drop it! What is this, plastic? That's not for you. Mommy can't afford the vet, baby. Okay, I'm actually going to try to open up another browser because I want to get an alien. Because these Yeezy Boost aliens are going for like $200 more. Maybe I can flip them. Even though, honestly, I don't understand what the appeal is. Oh, there's the crash. Okay. <laughs> Au revoir, AMRX. You know what? It's probably just a breakout and reconfirmation of the breakout area, and then it might go higher. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Whatever, I'm done. Bye.